Huh. Interesting. Clover? Are you okay? Your brother doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. Oh, uh, for those of you who don't know, Clover was in the original Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. She was number. She had the number four bracelet on her, and she was with her brother, who I think was. What did they call him? Was it three? No, he had a. I can't remember his name. I don't know why, but Clover just sticks out in my mind. Clover, wake up! And I guess this confirms that Alice is in fact the Alice I thought she was. going on here? Do these two know each other? What did you do to her? Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry though. She should be alright. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but... I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Well, you see, when someone is taken against their will, it's called kidnapping. Where are we? And who are you? <laughs> you look like a robot monk. You know, shot in the dark, but, uh... You know, Zenyatta? I mean, I know not all robot monks know each other, but, you know... Possibly knows him. It's pretty buff to be that model of robot, though. Whoa, hold on. How about you tell us who you are first? You leap out of that box dressed like some kind of robot carrying an unconscious girl, and we've only got your word that you didn't make her that way. I think you owe, owe us an explanation, pal. I'm... What? Oh, Jesus, he's got amnesia. Ain't that a bitch. Someone in the last game had amnesia, too. Was it seven? I feel like it was seven. I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, or who I am, or even what day it is. Well, to be fair, none of us know what day it is. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you share that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. Well, listen, Zenyatta guy. No, I'm just gonna call you Zenny. Zenny, look, uh, there's no way I could know who you are. Because, I mean, you look like a robot. Unless that's a mask. I do not know your model maker number, so I don't know your identity. Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. <laughs> Please. Do you, are you a con man? Or do you just not trust anybody because you just don't trust anybody? How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this... this... This robot suit. We can't even see your face. I mean, you know, Dio brings up a fair point. What's more, he didn't control someone with weird flesh buds to do it. You gonna tell us someone forced you into that thing? I mean, it's possible all of us were knocked out. In all fairness, it's highly likely that he was forced into the suit. I assume so. It seems the most reasonable explanation. Then again, we also have to consider why on earth they would put him in a suit. When I woke up, I was wearing this... armor, I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look? That's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I... look? That's fair. I mean, it's kind of just, you know, a turn of phrase, but that's fair. You know what I meant, you smartass. Uh, oh. 
She's waking up. Oh, that's good. Clover, are you okay? Come on, talk to me. Uh, yes. Where are we? She has a very interesting outfit from what she wore last time. Once Clover had woken up, Alice has explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero and the Nonary game, and then her eyes went wide. That's fair. What? See, now this is the response I was expecting before from Alice. No, no that can't... The blood drained from her face and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What did she know? As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned to question the mysterious man in the mask. When did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. Yeah, it's also an odd question to ask someone. Hey, do you know when you lost your memory? No, because I've lost my memory. I suppose... When I was born, I don't remember anything of my life, assuming I had one. Hmm. We asked him everything we could think of. Birth date, address, occupation, family, childhood. But all he did was shake his head. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like... Language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. Luna, are you a doctor? Because, I mean, granted, people know about, uh, what did she call it before, an anesthetic? The white smoke? But she also knows about amnesia? I mean, granted, she could just be a person that's well-versed in various, uh, illnesses. It's not like amnesia is a unknown ill ailment that you'd only know if you're a doctor and or nurse. But anything that has to do with, um, themselves is just lost. It's a that very sucks. serious condition. Mm. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. Huh. Hey, Zenny, did you get winged on the head really hard? <laughs> Do you have any idea what might have caused it? Hmm. Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's what causes amnesia, friend. I mean, unless that breakup was catastrophic. I don't, I don't think that'd be what it was. He was making a laughing sort of noise. But his, his expression didn't change. No shit, because he's wearing a mask, you idiot. With the mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not. But his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was. Bullshit. This guy's obviously full of it. Okay, sure. Whatever. Dio, let me ask you something, though. Let's assume he is bullshitting, that everything you just uttered is bullshit. Why would it matter? I mean, granted, he might not want to tell us about who he is for some reason, but all things considered, does that really matter? I mean, who cares if he's lying to us? It'll come out eventually, I'm sure. Don't tell me you're actually buying this. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward... All right, I'm back. Not sure what happened exactly, but for some reason, OBS just stopped recording. So I had to end the video and cut it into a second one, but that, that's fine. Let's move on. <clears throat> Dio's outburst was greeted by an awkward silence. It wasn't that we trusted the robot man per se. Only that it seemed clear he wasn't in he was in the same boat as we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist, too. Close inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet, 
In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm, like ours, and not simply part of a suit. I don't know, but I mean, I guess it seems that way, because the way he has to hold it to show it off. And just like ours, he's had a three on it. And it's a green pear! Called it! Although again, to be fair, I did already see this, so... Never mind, not important. Uh, and it said pear below the three. And the text was bright green. Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. How long had we been here or there? I still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head, and my brain felt foggy and cluttered. Had I been asleep for hours? Days? There was no way to know. They'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me, and given me the bracelet instead. And unless it happened to be three right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped and we wouldn't have the first idea. Damn it! No dice. This thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? Yes, you did. I, I guess Sigma just wanted to give it a try because nothing else was getting done. <laughs> yeah, well, I just thought... There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. Maybe? I don't think it's a card reader, though. <laughs> huh. Hey, what do you think that is? What? That graffiti over there. See? On the wall? Oh yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Well, clearly it means that two milkmen decided to go comedy. Whether that means they decided to go to a comedy club, or if it means that they, uh... You know, figure, you know what, let's stop being milkmen and go into comedy. Like, let's be stand-up or something. Stand-up, uh, artist or whatever the term specifically is. Stand-up comedian? That, that's it. Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become comedians? Still kind of sounds like nonsense, though. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. Okay. Weird way to say hello. Uh, what? You heard me. Yes, I did, but it sounded like nonsense. Yeah, I did, I just... What the hell was that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. Oh, okay. Gotcha. An anagram? Yeah, they tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Oh? Yeah, I... I, I don't get... Oh, wait, I get it. Telegram. Anagram. Gotcha. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram? No, I've heard of anagrams. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. I just, right? I just don't know how you, uh, figure out how you assign your word. Is it just like a random word jumble and you try to make the word jumble equal a word and then you just go from there? Exactly. Watch. With the tip of her boot, Fi spelt out two sentences in the dust on the floor. Two milkmen go comedy. Welcome to my kingdom. Like, how do you decide what letter goes where? Is it just you're randomly guessing and you go from that, or is there like a specific way you know, okay, well this goes over here? Oh! Okay. If you switch it around... Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Seems weird to put an anagram on the wall. 
You could just write on the wall, welcome to my kingdom. Why you gotta be cryptic about it? Zero, probably. Hmm. Exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. <laughs> yeah, but... Where are they? Pretty rude to invite someone over and not even offer them a drink. True. But you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. Oh, good. We're we're getting into the paranoia right away. Good. Also, why the fuck are Alice and Clover so damn surprised? They've been through a nonary game before. You'd think this would just be par for the course, like, oh yeah, no, I, I remember. But they both look genuinely shocked, which is confusing. Although I suppose they're not going to broadcast. Yeah, we've been in a nonary game before, because that's immediately going to draw suspicion to them. What? What? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're having a good time, Zero. Huh? Look. Over there. Shame on you, Fido. Fido? You can't say what I'm about to say before I say it. Zero. I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. I mean, you could. It would be interesting. A little bizarre, but interesting. Aren't they, though? <laughs> Where are you, you little bastard? Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? <laughs> yeah, really. I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Yeah, come on. Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? I guess so. I guess God touched this one a little too hard. <laughs> what? I think the rabbit's saying you're slow. Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. Wait. <laughs> then you're saying... Zero is one of us? What if Zero was one of us? Well, yes. Oh, I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. Ah, uh, good. We have Rabbit GLaDOS. Well, that's not fair. I feel like GLaDOS is, GLaDOS is significantly uh, more intelligent. Maybe intelligent isn't the right word. And I don't want to say it's more personality because this thing's a little ball of fun and, sun fun and sunshine. But, uh, you know, very different personalities. I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. Of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parents! <laughs> now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time, Zero the Third Proxy. Now, with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. What? Get out of town! And here I thought the artificial intelligence rabbit, who doesn't have a physical form, somehow went through the ether, grabbed us, and brought us here. I mean, obviously. I don't even have a 
Oh, poor thing. I'm just the facilitator for this facility. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? Didn't I say? The game, of course! <laughs> of course, of course. Oh, the nonary game, Ampidex Edition? Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No, it's supposed to be over. I know, Clover, but it seems like that's just not how it's going. Also, again, really interesting outfit you have there. Are you into something? Like, were you in the middle of, I don't know, a play or something? Because this does not look like normal clothes. There she goes again. She knows something. So, what is the Nonary game? Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Correct. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. Yes, yes it is. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal. You see that door in front of you? Yes. That's your goal. It's my door? I own that door, guys. No one else- well, I guess everyone owns it. If you can open the door with an eye on it, you can escape. What do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. Well, I got nothing on mine, but Sigma and the others have something on theirs. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Well, again, I don't, because I, I don't have the bracelet on me, but Sigma does. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Sure, sure. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. Okay. Sounds reasonable. See the box on the wall? Yes! That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to nine BP can pull that lever and the door will open. However! There are three rules you... Forget. That wasn't that great a pun. One! The number nine door will only stay open for nine seconds! You know, he sounds a lot more like a robot when he's saying these rules. When your time is up, it'll close automatically, so be careful! Like, you know, he sounded like he had a personality, but then he's talking about these additional rules and he went into robot mode. I don't understand that pun. Lappin? I get it's supposed to be happen, but wh what is the lap part of that? Is that like the scientific name for bunny? I don't know. If you think you can be sneaky, well... <laughs> well, what? Oh, I... Oh, I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> Why not? Come on, you can tell them. All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with a big penalty. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? It means you're gonna die. 
Well, I mean, I could be wrong. It could be some other penalty, but I'm pretty sure it's good that you're going to die. The secret file that I have seems to indicate that that's the case. Down in front. I'll tell you later. <laughs> um. No, I appreciate Zero the Third's personality. I mean, it can be a little grating and annoying at times, but, you know, he has his moments. Yes? Why did you start making rabbit puns? The question is, Luna, why didn't he start making rabbit puns sooner? He's coming with some better ones, though. Uh, well, um, because <laughs> I felt like it? Yeah, that's fair. I thought it might make me sound cute. Eh, some are kind of hit and miss. Oh, my God.